Egonon, uh, good, mo good morning, buenos dias to everybody. Thank you uh, for the invitation. I'm very proud to be here and uh, can tell you uh, about um, what we are doing in Hanover. Um, I uh, uh, will uh, <coughs> depart my speech in uh, four parts. At first, I will give you an idea of what Hanover is. Uh, a second uh, part is uh, what we are doing since long um, in about climate protection. Um, the third is uh, the reason why I'm here. That is uh, our master plan, 100% for the climate protection. And uh, the last part is uh, what we are doing, in fact, uh, to reach targets. Um, let me see. Okay. The first uh, um, idea is to give you an idea where Hanover is, and uh, you can see where you give Victoria Gasteis is. And, uh, uh, we are as well <coughs> um, a capital of a uh, region that is uh, in Germany, this uh, federal state called Lower Saxony, situated in the north of the country and uh, the second uh, uh, largest uh, in, um, in size. So, um, we are living in a region and uh, we have a unique uh, organization for that. Um, Hanover is the only state capital in Germany who is a part of, uh, which is part uh, of a district, if you want. This district is rather large. Uh, it's uh, about uh, 1.2 million inhabitants, uh, maybe 1.18 or so. Uh, the uh, area is uh, 2,300 square kilometers and uh, as uh, big as many other uh, uh, federal states in Germany. Um, yes, we have a, a special uh, government system on the local level for that. Uh, uh, as I told you, it's uh, unique. Uh, with uh, um, uh, Hanover is uh, in the center, as you can see, and there are 20 municipalities around. Um, and uh, we have, uh, even though we are part of this district, um, we are working uh, in some, uh, on some topics, so as uh, climate protection, climate change adaptation, um, and not on the uh, level of the law, um, but uh, uh, on our own targets, and because we, the municipal municipality, <coughs> want to work on it. And so, um, uh, we have uh, uh, some cooperation with this uh, um, uh, region, and we uh, share some companies we are uh, working with, uh, for instance, uh, the Climate Protection Agency, or the uh, economic development company Hannover Impuls. Yes, now to the city. The city uh, has half a million inhabitants, uh, just a tenth uh, of the uh, size of the region. It's in the center of this region, as I told you. And uh, it's uh, um, the uh, economic and uh, 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 yeah, the the uh, uh, the, sen the center, the capital, uh, of course, a, a real capital of Lower Saxony. Um, it's uh, uh, estimated as a city with a good quality of life. Citizens are asked. We don't not only estimate; we ask them, and um, uh, we uh, host the uh, largest trade fair uh, since the 1940s. It's the Hanover Messe. <coughs> uh, yes, what, what more? We have uh, 45,000 uh, students in our n university. We uh, uh, provide uh, nearly 400,000 jobs in service industries and uh, more and more in uh, the financial sector. Yes, and uh, in 2010, we have been the capital of biodiversity, but on a national level. Second is, uh, what targets do we have and uh, what programs do we run? 
Um, perhaps at first, uh, climate protection has a long tradition in our municipality. It's not the, uh, the, the state, uh, it's, it's just the municipality who's working on this. At first, uh, in the year 92, we gave us a target given by the council of our municipality uh, to reduce <coughs> CO2 um, uh, emissions uh, by... Uh, um, um, for 25% uh, by uh, 2005. That was a, a big target at that time. Um, to um, support that, we uh, got a, an action plan four years later. And when we monitored it in 2005, we saw we failed. It was just 8%. And why was this? This was because we had an action plan just working with the municipality and uh, their daughter companies, not more. And uh, what we learned from this is we need the city society to work with us. And so we started the second process in uh, 2007, uh, um, terminated in 2008. And uh, now we uh, had another target. Uh, the, uh, uh, as well, based on uh, 1990, uh, by the, the, by the uh, emissions of 1990, we uh, now get the target to reduce uh, CO2 40% by 2020. So this time it was uh, a process for uh, running half a year, a little bit more may maybe, and we asked uh, the companies, we asked the NGOs, we asked uh, many uh, uh, participations uh, how to reach uh, uh, targets and to set uh, uh, single targets uh, to, to join uh, the, the big target of 30%. And uh, in the end, uh, we had uh, four, uh, at first four, uh, after that, three networks staying alive. We have them until today, and uh, one is about housing. Yeah, I'll just tell you later more, more about this. One is uh, about uh, the companies, and another is uh, about the NGOs. Yes, and then uh, 2014, uh, we got subsidies from the national government. And uh, this is the reason why we made this uh, master plan 100% for climate protection. Um, it was, uh, uh, again, a cooperation uh, together with the region of Hanover. And uh, when all over Germany, uh, 50 uh, communities and uh, uh, regions did these projects uh, for the master plan, um, Hanover and... Uh, the uh, region of Hanover were two of them. Yeah, uh, I wanted just to uh, give you an, uh, a, a picture of Chef, uh, Stefan Schostock. He's our Lord Mayor, so please keep in, uh, in mind. <laughs> so, and uh, what uh, uh, now about this master plan uh, uh, and uh, the, the time before? Um, so you see, uh, we, we ha this is our uh, third big approach to more climate protection. And we want to do it in steps with milestones. And uh, so uh, in the year 2020, you see our old target of 40%. And uh, the, more, the next steps are to uh, reduce the greenhouse uh, uh, um, gas em emissions um, some more in 2030, about 55 percent, 40, 70 percent. And the national target is uh, to reduce CO2 and uh, other greenhouse gas emissions by uh, 2050 uh, at 80, minus 80, up to minus uh, 95 percent. We worked um, with the target of 95%, because uh, if you go uh, the, the easy way, uh, maybe uh, you can fail more than you think. So it's ambitious, uh, ambitious but 
we think uh, it's the better way. Yes, and uh, um, on the other hand, uh, if you want to re uh, reduce the uh, uh, emissions, um, you have on the other hand uh, to uh, work on the transition of uh, the uh, energy con uh, production. And so we want to change to more renewable energies. Um, let me tell you about Hanover and its, its instruments. Uh, if you uh, have the wish to, uh, uh, to, to join your targets, you must know how, how is it done and who will help you. And uh, I probably can say we have um, uh, powerful instruments such as the Climate Protection Unit, where I'm working in. It's inside the administration of the city. Um, and, uh, the, uh, and we are lucky not to have sold our city uh, energy utility, as many big cities in, Hano in, in Germany have done in the last decades. And uh, so we have this, I say it's a gem, uh, to work with in climate, on climate protection, because uh, they are uh, supporting us in our targets. Uh, one, point, one more point is uh, we have a local climate uh, protection fund. It's uh, 20 years old now. And uh, in the best times, we had uh, 5 million euros a year uh, to give subsidies on uh, many, many, many measures in Hanover. Uh, it, uh, let me talk about just uh, the retrofitting program and uh, that we gave um, uh, subsidies and found out uh, for one euro we give in the, of these subsidies, we create an investment of 13 euros. And uh, uh, you can imagine if you give uh, 2 million uh, euros a year for that, you can uh, help uh, a lot to uh, improve the mod rate on the uh, real estate, estate sector. The next is, uh, I told you, we share a climate protection agency with the uh, Hanover region. Uh, we own 25% uh, of them, the rest is by the region. And uh, they work for us uh, in campaigns and public relations. Uh, and uh, they do doing a lot uh, yeah, for us in these fields. And at last, um, we have a... a, a, a a program that uh, is a gem for also for climate protection. It's running on environmental protection. Environmental protection in the economic sector with companies of Hanover and the region of Hanover. And uh, the, uh, the, the program is to uh, get uh, 10 up to 20 companies a year, bring them together give them workshops, uh, give them consul consultancy uh, in their uh, sites and uh, improve their um, environmental performance. They, uh, that is done by their own wish and they uh, decide what measures are done. They uh, must join some quality um, uh, requirements uh, that are set by this uh, eco-profit system. Um, why do I tell you about this uh, environmental protection uh, program? Because uh, if we want to work with companies in Hanover and surroundings, we find them uh, by those companies who joined eco-profit. So, our municipal program uh, about the action, action plan 2020 um, it had as a result 30 measures uh, to uh, help to, find, uh, to get the uh, reduction target of 30, uh, excuse me, 40 percent. Um, there's a longer list, of course, than this is what given here. Um, let me take out just one of these, um, uh, the conversion of street lighting and traffic signals. We had a very amb um, uh, ambitious target on that, 
And uh, at that time, we were changing uh, from uh, one technique to the next. Um, we, uh, the, the, the first technique was based on mercury uh, for the lights, for the light bulbs, and the second was uh, based on natrium. And uh, yeah, the, that could uh, bring half of the target. And knew, nobody knew what happens then. And uh, some people said, ah, let's have a look on LED, but it's, it's too expensive. We can't do that in you know. home. And meanwhile, LED is not more and uh, not anymore so expensive. And we not only join the target, we will be better than that. And uh, so and sometimes uh, you can wait for new technologies and may, may see it helps. Um, so this is now why uh, <coughs> about our master plan. Our master plan uh, is, uh, um, uh, is raised, uh, as I told, in, uh, uh, in the years uh, uh, 2011 up to uh, 2014. And since that, we are working on the four first steps. Uh, I must say, I'm not the best to talk about because uh, my colleague uh, Gabi Schlichtmann would be. She uh, worked as a climate protection manager and uh, a project leader in this, uh, on this program. But she is uh, in a sabbatical now, and so you must take me to tell. <laughs> yes, uh, as I told you, it's not our target. It's the national target that was given to us, and uh, the only decision we made not to take uh, the reduction target of uh, 80%, but we took 95% reduction up to uh, 2050. And uh, the, uh, the, the master plan itself is like a roadmap how to reach these targets, how to join them. Yes, and uh, the, the uh, the greater ideas are uh, we have to increase uh, uh, energy uh, efficiency in all those cases where we use energy. Um, the uh, second idea is implementing a sustainable lifestyle. We heard about that two days before. What, is, uh, uh, what are the ideas uh, to uh, come to another uh, uh, management and uh, uh, another uh, uh, yeah, daily life uh, with less energy and less uh, uh, greenhouse gas emissions. Yeah, the, uh, the third is uh, using uh, renewable energy wherever you can. We must go out of the fossil energies, that's, that's clear to everybody, because uh, they are ending uh, resources, and uh, so we have to go uh, to this way, as Germany does. Uh, we have a transition uh, to the uh, renewable energy, not only uh, because of uh, uh, reasons uh, we have to work for the and to do the best for the next generations in uh, environmental uh, on environmental aspects, but also uh, uh, on the economic sector we have uh, to be more independent from those who uh, have to have the the oil and uh, those uh, who can provide us with gas. You know uh, which uh, nations I mean, and uh, so this is the way for the future to be to be more independent and to have the value not only in our national uh, uh, surroundings but in our regions, and uh, that is uh, the, the clear advantage of uh, using renewables. Yes, and uh, the last uh, would be closing material cycles. Uh, that is uh, maybe. Um, a target for, for everything. Uh, it's uh, um, avoiding waste, it's uh, uh, to, to, hand, to uh, be a better management of uh, resources, and of course, uh, it's climate protection. 
So, how did we work on that? I told you um, that was a subsidy, uh, for that we got subsidies from the national level, and so uh, we were, uh, um, we, the targets or the, the way to, to, get the tar uh, to get the result uh, was given to us. Not, this was not only our idea, and um, the uh, main reason may be um, who's, who's paying the music, who is, is saying what pieces are played. And so um, the, the national uh, government uh, wanted also to compare all these uh, uh, run, uh, running processes in Germany uh, with each other. So, uh, how did we it uh, in, German, uh, in Hanover and the region of Hanover? We had uh, uh, the participation of 240 experts uh, from very different sectors. This was, uh, to me at first, as a former economic developer, the economic sector, what means we had people from companies uh, uh, from our region in uh, different branches. We had uh, members of the science from the people from the universities in, in Hanover. Um, we had uh, the NGO people um, and uh, of course, we had the experts from our own uh, administrations and administrations uh, from the state's level around us. And we uh, put them together in seven uh, strategy groups. And uh, we added that uh, with workshops, which we de did uh, in uh, public spaces, or uh, no, not, in, not in public spaces, but, but in <laughs> spaces for, for the public with defined uh, audit, uh, auditoriums. Um, we had, uh, in those uh, workshops, we had more than uh, 5,000 children, uh, citizens, inhabitants, including migrants. And, uh, with, uh, and we did that in uh, city districts, where we uh, started dialogues and, uh, uh, yes, and, and tried to get the uh, results or the ideas from then into uh, our program. Yeah, um, the, uh, this uh, in involvement of people uh, had uh, one main target. Uh, we, all, we wanted uh, also to make them aware of what is happening in Germany. Because if you are uh, just using electricity or uh, other energies for heating, for instance, you are not aware what is, is running behind the curtains. Behind the curtains, we have this. Uh, um, some, some of my colleagues think it's, uh, meanwhile, it's an English word, the German Energiewende. What means it's uh, the turnaround, the, 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 uh, the transition from the fossil uh, uh, energies to the renewables. Uh, the the drop the, 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 uh, we have to drop uh, to use uh, nuclear in, um, energy. That was the first approach to this uh, uh, whole program, and uh, yes, now we uh, see our way is to uh, get nearly 100 percent of our electricity, for instance, uh, from renewables in 2050. So we, this all is to prepare the result. The result is a strategy paper over all the targets we want, uh, the single targets we want to set. Buddy? Don't. Okay. <laughs> running. Okay. So um, I'm running through this. We had these seven groups. Uh, I think you get the, the presentation. <laughs> and so we, so we, may, so may, we make it clear. What did they have to do? Um, uh, there, there was a, a, a clear uh, a plan, uh, and, the, and at last, the, the, the last uh, step uh, for all should be the political decision. Uh, wh what we learned from that uh, was uh, we have good reasons to, to join the target of the, of the nation, of course. Uh, quality for life, the value added and staying in the region. 
uh, saving costs if you have to, uh, have to use more energy or, or that energy you, you use now, you can save the cost of, of course too. And at last we learned uh, it's achievable, it's feasible to, to join the, the national target and we had an, have now an idea how. Uh, in the following I could give you many ideas for current activities uh, we are doing. For example, uh, uh, the uh, installation of uh, 15 megawatt hours electric battery, battery storage. Um, for, uh, and for, for electricity we get from photovoltaics. That is what our utilities do. Uh, what they do, are doing more uh, is about uh, uh, the uh, CHP uh, uh, program. Um, we, uh, and uh, about district heat, both is increased a lot. Oh, sorry, that was the wrong. <laughs> oh, that is okay. So, and uh, uh, on some new built districts, we try to uh, uh, create buildings that are so much better than the law is uh, requiring uh, that uh, we can uh, say set a standard for the future with that. Yeah, so many <laughs> more should, could, should be, uh, could be said if uh, we only knew what. <laughs> no, uh, I, will, uh, I will bring it to an, uh, to an end. Um, uh, one point uh, more is, uh, um, uh, I want to say, is uh, our, national, uh, our, our regional transportation system. It's very good uh, uh, already now, but uh, in the inner circle of the city, we will reach um, a 100% uh, carbon neutral transport system um, by 2020 because uh, our trams are running with uh, uh, renewable energy completely and uh, our buses that are running inside in the inner circle of the city, um, they are mostly hybrid uh, tracted uh, now and uh, we have uh, up till three uh, electric buses. Uh, they uh, get their feeding, uh, they can charge uh, with the system of the trams because it's 10,000 volts and that's uh, DC uh, uh, as they need it. And uh, we learned it runs very well and uh, we will have around, I think, 50 buses by uh, 2020 if the investment can be done. It's very expensive. <laughs> yes, and uh, we want to uh, improve our bicycle uh, system because uh, uh, nowadays 13% of all movements are done by bicycle in, uh, inside the, the city of Hanover. And we want to improve it to 25% by 2025. <coughs> and uh, uh, if you get these, uh, uh, this presentation, please click uh, on the link and you will see a little video uh, with a uh, Hanoverian uh, singer group. Yes, uh, renewable energies as well are our, our target. I told about that, what we do, uh, I can tell more. About the master plan, uh, we made a brochure. You can load it down from the internet uh, on our site. I have some printed uh, 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 exemplars with me and uh, you can take them all, please, so I mustn't <laughs> carry them back. <laughs> Yes, and uh, um, that is uh, uh, the same thing. So, and at last I want to say you, uh, uh, Eskerit Asko, thank you very much <laughs> for your attention, and uh, muchas gracias. Thank you.